First of all, our number one drama of the day, Emma Chamberlain Lulua. Her alleged illegal driving and her better than thou attitude when it comes to safe driving in LA. The first thing that I want to point out in her Snapchat she recently posted was that while she was complaining about her bad driving, she had one hand on her head and the other hand was holding her phone. So I'm sitting here like, who the fuck is driving the car? Here's the Snapchat. Okay, um, so I accidentally just like didn't drive when the light was green because I was drinking my coffee and the car that's next to me is really angry at me. So I'm just covering my face and I'm really nervous because now we're at a red light and they're really mad at me because it's my fault that now we have to wait longer to get to our final destination. And uh, I'm really uncomfortable. Let me know if any of you guys ever do this and cover your face when you're, okay, I'm now driving. I think they're gone. Nope. They're not, they're right next to me. Oh my God, they're angry! Ah! Okay, so I escaped the angry driver that was mad at me for not going when the light was green. Uh, thank God, but I would just like to publicly apologize to every Los Angeles resident that has ever experienced my driving. Um, it's really not good, it's really bad for some reason. I'm a good driver everywhere else, but in LA I'm bad. I think it's because I get bored really easily and um, you know, like sometimes when I'm at a stoplight for like six minutes, you know, I start getting bored and I start doing things, you know, like drinking coffee or singing to my music. And then next thing you know, like I just fucked up traffic even worse. So yeah, I mean, I would argue that the reason why traffic has been uber bad recently in LA is because of me. And I just want to say I'm sorry. But I'm also not. Now, I was looking up the laws in Los Angeles surrounding using your cell phone while driving, and this is what I found. Although California currently enforces a ban on handheld cellular devices and texting for all drivers, teenagers are restricted from using any type of wireless communications device until they are over the age of 18 years. Instead of the original $125 for the first time cell phone offence, the fine will now be $150. So that's a bit awkward, isn't it? Because Emma Chamberlain Lulua is in fact 17 years, 9 months and 3 days old, making her still a teenager. Who knows if this is a first time cell phone offence for her. And if people are like, oh you're making a big deal out of this, well no, I'm not, I'm thinking of the children. Like the other day for example, this little kid just ran out onto the road and stopped and stared at my car for 2 minutes, the middle of the road. Now if this was Emma Chamberlain driving, she'd be too busy snapchatting and you can just guess what would happen. Just be safe girl honestly. I mean to be fair for the second half of the snapchat she was stationary and I believe she was pulled over because cars were driving past her but for the first half oh we love a reckless driving queen. Loving how she ended that snapchat too. I'm sorry but I'm also not. Lol sorry not sorry for my dangerous driving that could potentially endanger others but really I'm not. Lol. In other news Nikki Tutorials has been receiving a bit of hate surrounding her video she recently uploaded called Lady Gaga makeup artist does my makeup featuring Sarah Tano. Now Nikki had come to Snapchat to explain that she loves to support all makeup artistry. Here's what she had to say. Oh my god guys it's so close. Oh my god I'm so excited for you guys to finally see this. This is literally such an incredible moment for me. Lady Gaga's makeup artist Sarah Tano is on my channel doing my makeup. I hope you enjoy guys because this is a dream come true. Good morning guys. I want to say thank you for watching my video with Sarah Tano, Lady Gaga's makeup artist. Now I do want to say something. If you know me and you know my channel, you know that I will always and forever support the difference in artistry in this industry. You know, I'm all about changing it up. I'm all about seeing new ways of doing makeup. And that's why I invite all these makeup artists, Sir John, Priscilla Ono, now Sarah Tano. I always want to see different spectrums of the industry. And if you don't like that, then keep it moving, baby. <laughs> Anyways, I am not here to focus on the negativity. I am here to say thank you for the positivity. If you haven't seen my video with Sarah Tano, then swipe up and watch it, and I'm really, really happy with it. Not the audio. The audio was shady, and not a lady. <laughs> Good 
Guess who's in the studio and filming? Me! <laughs> Guess who's in the studio and filming? Me! In other news, Jeffree Star exposed that himself and Shane Dawson were shooting a new series and that they are launching a palette together and that Jeffree Star's brushes and sponges will be in every Ulta store, which is huge. He spilled all this tea on his recent Snapchat. Good morning everybody, hello, how are ya? This morning I am busy, busy, busy. Um, I know I didn't upload a video yesterday, I am so sorry you guys, life has taken over with the traveling with starting the new series with Shane bitch time we don't know her <laughs> um, but today we are shooting again we have a lot of stuff in store and we are just gonna be non-stop um, besides that I am so so excited for this Sunday hello Alta Jeffree Star is coming <laughs> if you guys haven't heard yet or you've been really busy hello surprise this Sunday the Morphe Jeffree Star collection all the brushes and the sponges will be in every single Ulta store in America and of course on Ulta.com. Bitch, this is such a moment for me. Um, I get asked all the time, when is my personal brand coming to Ulta or Sephora or retail? Not just yet, bitch. You can only shop my brand at Morphe retail stores, but our collaboration, every single brush and sponge will be in every Ulta. Like, girl, I... <sighs> I have so much to be grateful for. So I'm just on one this morning. I'm on cloud nine and I can't stop smiling. Hi, new lips. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited for this new series Shane and Jeffrey are doing together. If it's anything like the first, it's going to be insane on a whole nother level. What I want to know is when is this documentary series airing? I'm deceased. Tesla done. I'm very sorry, but my computer has auto-corrected her name to Tesla, so we'll be spilling the tea on Tesla Dunn today. So Morgan Adams posted a video of her recently, essentially getting scammed by a fake psychic by the sounds of things. And Taylor was in the background of the video saying this. I blocked her number. Ooh. Don't block her number. Yeah. Don't I already her. did, and that's why she was running after me. Oh, no, Morgan, why did you contact us before? What? Now everyone kind of got the wrong idea and accused Tesla of being a bad friend and taunting her and making Morgan cry. After this whole drama went down, Morgan took to Twitter and said this. Here is my opinion. Tela and her family have been nothing but kind and generous to me. She takes me everywhere, introduces me to everyone, and never once has asked for anything in return. One of the most genuine friends I've ever had, Ollie too, and that's the T sis. A fan had responded responded, can we just leave Morgan the fuck alone? She is allowed to be friends with whomever she wants. We don't get a say in that, and we should trust her judgement. We don't see everything as an audience or as fans. People change behind closed doors. People should be given a chance. Smith. So I can see this tweet blowing up and I don't have anything to promote other than people should mind their own damn business and let people be happy, enjoy their life and friends. It doesn't have to be this deep y'all. And then Shane Dawson had stated, Daddy's not going to get himself involved with teen girl drama, but I wanted to say I'm very grateful for Taylor and her family. They have taken such good care of Morgan and are people I trust to make sure she's safe. I don't know the tea, but I just wanted to say I appreciate them. And then Taylor responded to Shane by saying, I love you so much. Morgan is such a genuine friend. I'm so lucky to have her in my life. If you thought that was all the tea spilt today, you are very wrong. It appears Tana Mango still cannot help herself when it comes to the Edu Booty academic alleged cheating scam sponsorships. <sighs> can't deal. I've made a video on this alleged scam that YouTubers used to promote, and well, guess who's still promoting it and doesn't give a fuckery doodle-doo? Tana Mango Lulua. This was Tana's recent Snapchat. 
What's up guys? You already know what I'm about to say, but if writing is a sore subject for you, check out EduBirdie. You can choose from hundreds of professional skilled writers to help you in any kinds of fields of study, whether it's editing an existing paper or starting from scratch. Swipe up and check out EduBirdie if you need help with writing. I'll leave a link down below to my prior video on this drama if you'd like to check it out. But basically, it's a website where you pay for other people to write your essays, whether you be in school or university, which is essentially cheating and can result in plagiarism and you being being kicked out of school. Yay for cheating! Uh, not. She's been called out on this countless times and couldn't give two fuckery doodle doos. Anyway, that's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, comment, send this video to your mom, tell her to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.